So today is hair wash day. Oh. Yes! yes. Oh. Finally! When do oh. come? Who has an itchy scalp? I do. <laughs> we have so many different hair types in our family. So you guys are gonna get to see what everything that we use on everyone's different hair. Uh, I'm gonna work on the older girl's hair mostly. Appa, you can do the younger kids' hair. What the hell? Mm -mm. So Akadi's gonna get her hair washed first. She uses the Aussie shampoo and conditioner. She uses a ton of conditioner on her hair, don't you? <laughs> yes. Like all the time because she has really, really curly, curly, what kind of um, frizzy hair. So she likes to condition it down so it will drop down more because her hair gets really dry. Mm -hmm. She has very, 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 very coily, 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 coily curls. And you'll be able to see that even more when we are um, washing it. And she does have her hair dyed at the ends. So um, for Kylie's hair, really almost everything works. But she just needs to go through tons of conditioner, detangler, sprays, because her hair gets extremely tangled too, right? Mm -hmm. And Akaili usually washes her hair by herself, right? Obviously, she's 12, but today I'm gonna wash it for her just to make sure like she gets it really, really clean and really, really good condition. Is that good, Akaili? Mm -hmm. So Akaili's hair is really tangled up right now, so we're just gonna wash it and then we're gonna leave the conditioner in for a while and let it detangle. I don't ever um, comb her hair while it's like, doesn't have conditioner in it or try to detangle it without conditioner. So, if you notice, Akadi has hair that gets wet really, really fast. So, as you'll notice with my other children, not everyone's hair is like that, but her hair gets wet and soaked super fast. It's already soaking wet. So, we're good with that. So, suddy, her hair gets really suddy and nice. I'm just gonna wash it. Is that too hot? Mm -mm. Ooh, your hair is totally stripped. So nobody said this shampoo was so fade or whatever, whatever free, because it's not. It's just stripping her hair totally of everything. What's that mean? Stripping your hair means like basically it's like making it really, really hard and like just taking all the oils out of your hair. And I'm gonna wash her hair one more time because in the front it still feels kind of not stripped. So we're really gonna just do a complete cleanse today. Plus my grandma, oh, she always washed my hair two times, always. Okay, let's rinse that. <laughs> so we're just gonna add the conditioner. Lots and lots of conditioner. And I kinda know like when I have enough conditioner. I feel like the conditioner is enough when the hair starts to kind of relax and get loose and the curls start to get loose. So I feel like that's when it starts working. You can already see like back here. See how loose the curls are getting? Everything, like all of the hair feels nice and soft now. And now we're just gonna detangle. I don't like going straight from the bottom up. What I like doing is like brush through here until it gets kind of caught. I like to do that like two times. And then I like to go to the bottom and brush up. Look at the difference. That, that's, now that, that's detangled. That long. We'll just take our time. We're not in a rush. Uh, We're not going anywhere. <laughs> Girl, your hair is tangled. Do you condition your hair? Yeah, and but not a lot. And, and detangle it? Mm, I mm. used the I used like the purple one. Ah, oop! Girl, your hair is so tangled. Good thing I did this. Good thing I'm not tender headed. <laughs> <laughs> so look how Lisa Kylie's curls are. Nice and loose, they're getting. Her hair looks like it gets like coilier. Yes, it gets coilier. Can't do nothing nice when you got your hair this tangled, Kylie. So we're gonna tag team of Kylie's hair because. We want to speed up the process. Super detail. It's super tangled. Oh, Akali, this is so cute on you. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Akali, your hair is like ridiculously tangled out. We're going to have to do like a hair care 101, you guys, because this is ridiculous. Your hair. Joe, like... you want to try to go in like sections instead I, of like. I started going front and I'm going here. Yeah, but this 
here is a different section from here. Like these are, do you see how that's all taken from each other? Not, so like the see. bottom needs to be separated from the top. Okay, so, so not maybe just like left to right, but yeah. top to bottom too. You just wanna like get a little piece and you just wanna like detangle that little piece. And usually Tango, you wanna yes. start from the bottom part because then the top will be in the way if you do the top one first. Look out of your hair is so tangled up. Is that easier, Joe? Uh, I think so. I mean, it's less hair to go through at a time. Okay, I'm finished with my side. Is this hurt, Kylie? I know. Who Which hurts? Both. <laughs> also, like, I don't know how to explain it to you, but you're <laughs> you're not brushing it all together. I don't know how to explain it. Like, do you brushing. see how it looks like right now? And then watch. You see the difference? Uh, yes, but this is gonna get washed out anyways, right? Yeah, but it will get washed out like that like in the curl pattern that you do it in. So in preparation, I'm just making sure every the comb runs nice and good through her hair right now. All over just to make sure everything's nice and detangled. And I am going to make a part before I rinse this out of where I would like for her hair to go. Do you want to part in the middle? I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> you know what that middle part is. Okay. So we like to sit in the Kylie's hair for about 15 minutes. So now we're gonna rinse it up. Cooler water. I'm not rinsing out all of the conditioner. I still want some conditioner in there. So that's good. Perfect. Still in the part. So next I'm just gonna take some coconut oil and put it through her hair so that it will stay. This will just help me maintain that um, without the frizz coming up on her hair so her hair won't get super frizzy. Right? Do you do this? Uh, no. I don't. You should. Cause when That's I why like... your hair gets frizzy every night. Yes. If you put oil in it, it won't get as frizzy. You can put a little bit more coconut oil on the ends. I think you need a lot more actually. So Kylie is done for now. I'm just putting her hair in two little soft ones. Okay, continue on for day. Next is Azayo. We're gonna wash Azayo's hair. Wow, she has the most hair I think out of everybody. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use the Shea Moisture Low Porosity um, stuff. All the links to everything, if you guys wanna know like what I use on their hair will be here. So you ready? Let's go. For Azayo's hair, because she has so much hair, I actually section it in sections first before I wash it. So I'm just gonna section it in four sections and put it in some twist in each section. I'm going to just keep it together. I'm just really braiding the ends to try to keep the ends together. Ready. So Zyle's hair takes a lot longer to get wet. Much more difficult than a Kylie's hair. So just have to use it soak it for longer. Make sure I'm getting every section. But her hair isn't even still that wet right now. Because if her hair was really, really wet, it would look completely different than this. So I need to keep that on there. So I'm gonna use this low porosity stuff. And then for her, I'm just gonna put it directly in her hair because she just has so much hair. One section at a time. She has too much hair. So I'm just gonna first do this and then take out the braid. And just wash this section up here. Still, I'm not doing any detangling right now. Getting everything separating the hair on the bottom, but I'm not detangling it up to the top. Just at the end, just scratching anything out. I'm gonna lightly braid that back mm -hmm. up so that stays separate from the hair. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna go to another section mm -hmm. and wash another section. And wet it again. Put the shampoo directly on there. And I'm just gonna continue this through her whole head. Still washing. I like this low porosity because it makes all these suds. My sister told me if it makes a lot of suds, that means it's really stripping. But these girls right now they need a lot of stripping and i use this for my hair it's short so it doesn't matter to me because i just strip my hair and then i just condition it right away so like i said i'm just i'll just open up this hair and just 
wash in between it without trying to like pull it out all the way. This one actually can be. I just keep doing that to get where all her braids were just at. I'm gonna put another braid this way and then we're gonna wash it out. As I was here, I always wash like in these braided sections like this. Or else it would just get so tangled. She has she has the type of hair that gets tangled. Like when she was a baby, it would dread in one day. One day it would be dreaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and just check her hair. Just gonna see on the inside, particularly how it's looking. It's looking pretty clean. I'm gonna clean it one more time just to get it good. Okay, head up. Ugh. That scalp, does that feel good, Zio? Mm hmm Yeah, girl. This your hair, well, you lucky you got a hairdresser. That quarantine hairdresser. <laughs> okay, let's rinse out. Okay. So as you can see, Zio already has these dreads forming from her hair that um, I haven't even done anything about washing in these braids and these dry things are coming out so we're going to condition it now i'm actually going to use the aussie conditioner because i think she needs a lot of conditioner this time so i'm just going to take apart one condition it and then thing it up so let's start here so you can see these large things are coming out of her hair She's had her hair in braids for a very long time, so. So, we're just gonna keep working this in there. Look at all that. Just come it all out. Lightly braid this back up and just let that sit in there. And then I'm gonna do this all to her head. I'm just gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna come back and detangle it. So I detangle or un- You just un take it out it. and then put conditioner in it, yeah. Then let it sit. Do I need to brush it in or do I just no, use No, just hands? use your hands first. Let it sit oh, in there. Is that a fly? Oh, I got it. You did. Who uses more conditioner, Kylie or? Who needs more? Yeah. Azayo. Azayo. This is going to take a long time. But we're not in a rush, are we, Azayo? Yes. You got nowhere to go. We are? <laughs> wow, Joe, you put a lot of conditioner in this girl. Come on, here. What is your friend, girl? What is your friend? Okay. Does it hurt as I know? Mm -mm. Who's, who are you saying out to? This side or that side? Huh? Me? Mm -hmm. Huh? Before. Oh, sorry. Oh, because I was like parting it. All right, this side is nice and well, kind of smooth. This hair need tender love and care. This ain't no hair, you know what I'm saying? You just put water and no, bro. This need TLC. Love it. Care. Hi. Nurture it. Talk to it. So, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do your thing, bro. Mom, go ahead and take care of the head that's on your head. Huh? Nurture and love that. First of all, I got some nice products coming in the mail, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My hair is always dry, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I gotta get some moisture. Look, I don't wanna be a distraction. Joe, you need to focus. Cause I don't, boy, don't, bro, hey, bro. Hey, I'm good. DLC. Said, hey. worry about your own hair. Hey, my hair. You got, <laughs> you have your own drama going on on your own head. Don't worry about me. My hair good, but that one, take care of that baby, bro. That's I got real, it. bro, that's precious right there, bro. That's real African hair, bro. That's real hair. So go ahead and be a thing, bro. I'll call you later. I don't want to be, if you mess up, I don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> All right. That's a good point. Okay, so right at the same time, I'm getting hair out of this. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so now we finish um, detangling our hair and twisting it up. So I guess now we're going to leave rinse me. It, rinse it out, I guess. Yeah. So now again, I'm just gonna take coconut oil, but I'm just gonna put it on the edges of her hair. And these little braids, just to keep them protected, because you got split ends, girl. I might cut these. Amaya! She doesn't want me to wash and detangle her hair. She's 15. 
She's probably not gonna want me to do it. Oh yeah, free! When did you do it? Last week. Date. What did you use in your hair, Amaya? But I can spruce it up. I'm just gonna condition it. With what conditioner? What, uh, this one. Yes, with the... That that's the shampoo. That's the shampoo. I'm just gonna condition her hair with the Make It Last Wash and Go Conditioner. That's it. And then rinse it out. I feel like you're lying to me. No, I am. Her, your what? Hair, you said you are! No, I'm not lying. Her hair stays really well. And I just feel like a good little conditioner will make it... Frizz up? You know. Yeah. No, it's not gonna make it frizz up because you don't have that type of hair. Okay. I'm watching your every move, mother. Okay, mother. Okay. No! So. Stop! We're just gonna give it a little... Ooh, I think it a little frizzy. Mm hmm But it won't be frizzy once we put the conditioner. Mm -hmm. You have to open it, Mom. Just trust me. Thickness. What is that thick? It's thick. It's super thick. Just oh, that's really thick. That's yeah, why I use it. You like this mm -hmm. one? Yes. Why? Because it's not the silicone in it. <laughs> What's wrong with silicone? Everything. Let me teach you something, okay, everyone? Listen up. So if you put silicones in your hair, you have to use a shampoo after it to strip out all of what, everything that's in your hair or else silicones will stay in your hair and block your hair from actually getting moisturized with like just water and the silicone is just a plastic covering over top of your hair so your hair will never actually get moisturized with water ever again unless you use some type of really, really drying and like stripping shampoo or you can use a bar of soap, but yeah. Yeah, your hair is very clean. So. I know I did it. Can you just put the Ouch. cap over this and just Ouch. let it sit for like 10 15 minutes or more? Sure. Rinse okay, it. Okay. Next, we have Aunt Erzo, and she probably has the thinnest hair. What I, does that mean? It just means it just fits your hair good. It's nice and thin, you know? She has these thick, thick curls. <laughs> like Shirley Temple curls. Those are her natural curls right there. They will never go away. No. If you wash my hair, my hair will just get all tangled up again. Yeah. So with Erza's hair, shampoo and conditioner. When I first had Erza, I didn't know what to do with this hair because it's just so thin and it gets wet super easy so you can see our hair is already soaked. So we're just going to wash you. Erza, think of this as an invigorating spa treatment. And you see, I just had a little tiny bit of shampoo in my hair, hand, and it went all like this. I just gave a little tiny drop, and this is what happened. Relax, sweetie, relax. This is not relaxing, because you're standing. Okay, hold your breath. Okay, just stay right there. So now, it's still all tangled up, as you can see her hair. So I'm just going to put the conditioner on it now. I haven't combed it or brushed it or anything. So I'm just going to condition it until it basically starts to show signs of curling up and getting detangled. So yeah, well, I was saying when I first had Arizona, I saw her hair was this thin. Like I did not know what to do with it. Like my instinct was like, oh, cornrow beads. And I realized that it doesn't last for a very long time. It lasts for two, about two days on her hair. So I had to realize that it's better to do like um certain hairstyles on her hair than others and really her hair just works in a ponytail i mean it's so thin so we do a lot of ponytails and buns messy buns yes we do a lot of messy buns and ponytails so now it's nice and thing so i'm just going to use the comb on hers and we're just gonna come from the bottom okay that's not pretty well so we're gonna use this for your hair this brush is so easy to brush out your tangles. Yeah, Arizona, you have to remember to brush out these tangles. Ow! Kids' hair is getting so... Arizona's hair has never been this long in her life. All this kids' hair is getting really long. Okay. There, see? That's it. Now it's all detangled. That was easy. Ow! Arizona's hair starts to form one big curl. So you guys can see how thin Arizona's hair is. Kylie and Zio and Arizona all have same parents but their hair is all super different as you guys saw very very different and so that's can Arizona. i have my mirror to see what it looks like it just looks like your hair regularly looks like so you see how her hair goes into this one 
like curl. So basically it just sits there like this. I'm just holding her hair so that it won't go the other way. So I'm gonna hop down because I'm gonna have to detangle this again because it does get tangled even again. And so even with Arizo's hair, coconut oil, so it won't frizz up. What does that mm -hmm. mean? So it will stay like this, oil it. And her hair tolerates oil well. Squeeze out the water and oil it. Oil it, right, Arizo? So it won't be frizzy. Cause frizz creates tangles and messes. Okay. I'll be into deer hair in a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna put one ponytail on top and one ponytail at the bottom, okay? I know I need to do that later. Okay, you all done. Bye-bye. I'm gonna do the other side. I love this hairstyle because it really only takes me about what? Like how long, Kylie? Five minutes. Five minutes. Once you know how to do this, you can do it really fast. Just put one right here, and then Akali can change it. She wants different colors. Okay, done. Show us Akali. Ooh, pretty. You look such a darling girl, Kylie. I love this, this is great for 12 year olds, 13 year olds. Keep them young. Okay, next. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do two buns for Arizo because it's all about getting things right. The hardest thing about this is trying to make, get all these lines to look perfect. And I'm not used to doing all this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first I'm gonna start by just taking out the size braids. So I decided I was just gonna do four cornrows going back just to keep it from tangling up until I'm ready to do her final hairstyle in a couple of days from now. I'm gonna do it for her instead of two because I don't want her, her hair will get more tangled if I put it in just two. So we were going to do Ajay and Ajui's hair, but they ended up falling asleep. And the baby. All the products I'm using on this house hair is basically leave-in conditioner, some shea butter and oils just to keep it moisturized. I'd leave all the links in the description if you guys are interested in checking these out or trying these out. So for Zyla's hair, I'm just applying extra leave-in conditioner extra shea butter, extra coconut oil, because you know, I said like she's prone to dreading and not at the end of her hair. So I'm to make sure everything is kept super thin. So there you go, Isaiah. Oh Tonight I'm cooking smothered pork chops. Yum, one of my favorite meals. I like to cook the onions first, just to get that smell going, so I like that smell, and the garlic, and then I'll recook these back up later. I let the pork sit to get all the blood out of it, so now, and some water. I don't like all that blood in my stuff. Cutie Maya. And then we're just gonna put these directly on the grill. Salt, pepper, um, I'm gonna do some oregano. I'm just gonna brown them, cook them, and then I'm gonna put them in a pan and I'm gonna bake them the rest of the way with the sauce and everything. My wonderful wife made, <laughs> made all of this, didn't she? Yep, I even made the kimchi. Yep, pork chop. With help. Rice, mm -hmm. kimchi, yeah. smothered pork chop. Oh, with mushroom gravy. Mm. I'm trying to break this, but I can't. And two different types of kimchi. 
This is good. Can we sell them? Look at Mario's place. I said, oh my gosh, I see the way you shine. Good, Amaya. Yeah, I can't.